So this video is a bit weird. I've got some new software I'm trying out. Now both of these big tough guys, they like to shake hands. And since they're both as strong as one another, the handshake's going to be right in the middle. Not to the left or to the right. It's going to be a symmetrical handshake. No one's pulling harder than the other. Now these two guys here, again, are sharing a, a symmetrical experience. Both of them are, uh, enjoy it as much as the other. So it's going to end up in the middle of their activity. But when you put them together, the big guy, well, he's so much stronger, he's going to pull the handshake over towards himself. You are no match for me! So let's look at the word covalent. Co uh, means together. And valent, well, that means valence. And in this case, the valence electrons. Where are they? Well, hopefully you remember that they're the outer shell of an atom. Or maybe an iron. You can also think about co-pilot or cohabitation. So that's how you remember the covalent ones are the ones where electrons are shared. Now when these atoms share electrons, or in some cases ions, they're going to have two or eight electrons in the valence shell when they're done. This is stable. So if you're only looking at the first shell, that's going to have to have two. And if you're looking at other shells, well, they're going to end up having eight electrons once they've done their sharing to become stable. They look just like a noble gas. Now don't get this confused with, I'm listening to bangerang, that's why everything's moving jerkily. Don't get this confused with ionic. Ionic is where electrons are transferred. We're not doing that, we're doing covalent, co is sharing. So let me move these two atoms in closer together. And again, when they share their electrons, if they're sharing the first shell, they're gonna end up with the two electrons there, or if they're sharing any other shell, they're going to end up with eight electrons together in those valence shells I've indicated. And the covalent bond, well, that's going to be the shared electrons between them. So moving on, let's look at some examples. Now, remember those two big guys? They both loved handshaking. Well, that's like chlorine. They both really love electrons. So they're going to have a covalent bond. They're going to share the electrons because they both love electrons. How do I know that? Well, they're both non-metals. That's how you can work that out. The measure of electron love is electronegativity, which will come up a little bit later. Chlorine has a high electronegativity. Now hydrogen, that's like the little guy. Doesn't have a big electronegativity, only likes electrons a reasonable amount, a lot less than chlorine, but nevertheless the electrons will still be shared equally. If I put hydrogen and chlorine together, well, the chlorine loves electrons more than hydrogen, so it's going to pull those over, but it's still a covalent bond. Electrons are still being shared, if unequally, between those two atoms, the hydrogen and the chlorine. You can also get double bonds. This is ethene. You're going to need to learn that. And triple bonds. That is ethine. You'll have to learn that too. And strangely enough, they want you to look at these rather complicated structures here. Now, so far, we've seen an electron from each atom sharing to make the bond. But if both electrons come from one atom, that's called a dative covalent bond. And that's what I've drawn with the orange arrow there. That's the ammonium ion. The hydronium ion also. That top hydrogen, both electrons from the bond have come from the oxygen. The hydrogen is giving no electrons. Dative covalent bond. And the final one is carbon monoxide. In that triple bond there, the electrons in that top bond both come from the oxygen. They're not, sh they're not one from carbon and one from oxygen. So you call these a dat dative covalent bond, or you can also call it, confusingly, a coordinate covalent bond. When kids forget what a dative covalent bond is, I come over and I pretend to strangle them. My two hands are the two electrons going out towards them. I'm not going to shake their hands. That would be a regular covalent bond, an electron from each. I'm going to go and strangle them. Well, they always seem to remember that. Or if they don't remember it, they never mention it again. That was too easy, mate.